Good morning, everybody. Good morning from a maybe cloudy day, maybe rainy day. We'll see here in the Philippines. Well, I walked outside to see what the weather is like right now, and uh, I got a little bit of surprise. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. You can hear the beach, you can hear the waves, but there's just something different here this time. Huh. <laughs> well, there it is right there. That's so funny. We didn't even know our room was right here in front of the dive shop. We come in so tired last night. We didn't even walk out here on this balcony. And just now I said, I'm going to go outside and look what the beach looks like right here. We can hear the waves and uh, walk out. And what do I see? Critter Republic. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty cool. It looks looks pretty nice the little work he's done on the shop and all yeah see he's got the glass window in they got the other glass storefront in looks pretty cool it does it does So we are here right now at the, the Dawin Negros Oriental and uh, I'm exploring on their beach and uh, you see it here, they're mostly the resort and houses here, it's really close to the water, I think it's been washed out also. But the place mostly here, it's all private uh, property. And it is so nice here. Uh, I can't keep uh, moving forward because the water was just there. So I can't do that one. But the place is so amazing. I like it. Very nice. And there's a vacant lot here. And then probably it's very expensive. And uh, this area here is there big time on uh, diving. There's a lot of diving boat here, and I see it. There's, uh, I saw a few foreigners here. So it is, uh, maybe they come over here for do the diving. But overall, this place is very, very, very nice. And I don't say nothing bad on this. All I can say is I like it. Very peaceful. So we loaded up the truck and moved to Dumaguete. Yes. Yeah. We're here now in Dumaguete. Yeah, man. We just got tired of Elo Elo, you know? Yes. Man. Explore we, something different. You no, know, something something different, man. There's lots of vloggers down here and I just feel like we belong where the other vloggers are, you know? We belong where the other vloggers are. So we just uh, made a deal got rid of the house there at the beach 
you can always get another house. And we packed up whatever we wanted in our Starlink. And we're just gonna start a new life right here in Dumaguete. Starting right here at the Boulevard. We don't have a place to go. We're gonna stay in the truck tonight. We're gonna just start our life again right from rock bottom. Right from the bottom. And I know you believe every word I'm saying because Melinda has a convincing face with that smile. <laughs> Uh, so we came here to Dumaguete. Uh, we drove actually all the way around the outside. We didn't cut across the mountains, which added hours on our trip. We went all the way down by Sapala, and uh, it's beautiful. And it, I wanted to do it. I wanted to drive that that extra distance, but it did make the drive getting here a whole lot longer. Yes. <laughs> but I can say I did it, man. I drove all the way down through there because I've been wanting to. And we got here. Um, we went to Sierra Resort. is where Justin is, Critter Hunter, with Critter Republic, and where he's getting the dive shop going right there. And, of course, that's why we went there because we want to hang out and spend time with Justin and his crew of people. So that's been very enjoyable so far. We've already ran into... Uh, some subscribers. We've already ran to people we don't know. We've hung out with Mark and with Jen and Mark uh, Thornton. He is a very nice guy. His wife is a very sweet girl. She interviewed Melinda. So y'all watch uh, Every Woman Has a Story. Hi everyone, welcome back to the show. And for today's video, I am here with Melinda. I'm Melinda Hightower from Texas, Philippines. Texas, Filipino in yes. my channel, guys. Oh my god. So I kept asking her, to, please, can I have you on my show like that? So we have Texas, Filipino. So is it your first time here in Dumaguete? Oh, yes, it's first time. And check out Jen's channel. Check out Melinda's first time to be interviewed outside of our own channel, which I've never even interviewed my wife. She yes. just talked about that yes. the other day. So y'all check that out. It'll be coming out soon. Every woman has a story. I know it'll probably be out late. In fact, it's probably out before this video here will even come out because we're delayed. But um, we want to come down here and, and check out Dumaguete. Uh, we hear that there might be a couple vloggers from here uh, maybe moving up to our area. So, you know, we're going to return the favor and come down here and stomp on their ground. <laughs> Uh, anyway, it's enjoyable to get out on vacation and see something different and to meet new people and and uh, continue to culture these friendships. I'm just going to enjoy it. So I hope y'all don't mind getting some more Dumaguete vlogs. I know y'all are used to that. This is a place that you're used to seeing right here. And we're going to get out here and take a stroll right now. Yeah. Down here in Dumaguete is where all the vloggers belong. So they passed the law up in Iloilo. No more vloggers there. Yes. Kicking them out of the city. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know what we're going to do. I guess the only choice is to move down here to Vlogagetti. Yes. Yeah. To be, to be part of this. Be part be of it. Vlogger here. Well, it's okay. Everybody we met so far is nice. It's a good vlogger community. Yeah. And... What can we do, you know? Keep the channel alive. No more vloggers in Ilo Ilo. Kick out. You don't want any more there. So we just come to Duma Get Me. The Duma Get Me. They got us. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to come in here. We're going to take over this town. It's going to be our town. So what's up, dog, man? What you doing on my turf? It's in my turf now, man. You better get off my corner. Yeah. Our town now. Uh, Mel and I was having a laugh. We met each other at a beach resort there where we live. I mean, just two minute walk down the beach from us, if even that. And it's called Solimar. Let these trucks go by. Let the Tanduai go by. And right there, it's funny because I looked over and saw this place. Solimar. Done exactly the same. Same Solimar. Yeah. Same style, yeah. We don't know this town, so everything's brand new to us, all right? We know there's a lot of expats here. We've met some nice people so far. We've seen some place down here. What was it called, Mel? That sports part down there? Bar, yeah. 
What was it called? Uh, I don't remember, but uh, there's a bunch of... Uh, a lot of expats sitting there. Lots of expats sitting there. Tom Tom's Cafe. Bo's Coffee. Mel, do you want to walk on further? Let's walk on down around there. Yeah, Mel and I, we love walking, so this is our gig. We've been sitting all day because we've been trying to, you know, enjoy and meet new people, and which has been really nice, man. This guy, Dexter, that's friends with, with Justin. Uh, actually, we're going to... No, thank you, Mom. We don't have anything right now. Okay. No, thank you. No, thank you. Uh, it's okay. I'm recording right now. Thank you, Mom. So, we we met Justin's friend, Dexter. And Dexter, hello, sir. And he seems like a really nice guy. And actually... We're going to stay at his place tonight. Yes. Yeah, he's going to make us a guest in his home. And we're going to meet up with him here after a while. He's going to pick up his motorcycle right now. Seems like a really nice guy. I have enjoyed visiting yeah. with Dexter all day. Dexter yeah. and I have talked our heads yeah, off, man. <laughs> yeah, uh, really, really nice people we met. Like I say, we met with, with Mark and Jen and... Man, they just seem like good people, too. Every man has a story. Every woman has a story. And Mel and I, well, we also have a lot of BS story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hello, sir. How are you? I seen you earlier. You you were down at Darwin also, wasn't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. He was looking at the room next to us, room 13 there. See? Yeah. A lot of memory, huh? <laughs> Take care, sir. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's me. I got that photographic memory of everything, man. Every detail. Did a little bit of... Um, I'm trying to make some plans with... Paul McGill, uh, we've texted back and forth with each other a little bit, but we've not made no no plans or anything. Uh, just kind of saying, hey, touch base with each other. We'll probably get together with them. I, I really like Paul. I respect Paul. And it'd be a pleasure for me to meet Paul McGill. I think he's a great guy. And baby May... She's everyone that we know that knows them and really know them, you know, hang out with them and know them. They say she's a really great girl, too, and that Paul's just a genuine person. I wouldn't expect any different out of him. So we look forward to that as well. Check out this. That's where I'm walking right now. First steps of doozy. So it's the port down here. Melinda's checking out. Uh, what some of the ferries and where they go and how much it costs. So that's the port right there. It's nice. I hear some guys on jet skis running around. 